Hey everybody, <clears throat> welcome back to another one of our ExpressJS video series. Um, so in the last episode, we just got the very, very basic app up and running. Uh, I've got it over here, just requiring Express and running it as a function. And then we've got this one very basic route, which just listens on the root path and then sends the plain text, hello world. Uh, and the app itself listens on port 3000. So with that, we can go into our terminal and we can run node on our index file. It'll say listening on port 3000, which is this little console log here. And then if we go to our browser and hit port 3000, we see the text hello world. So today we're gonna move a little bit further with that, um, talk a little bit more about routes, and then we're gonna get into some static files. Um, so the thing that I wanted to touch on with routes, we're gonna come back in depth uh, and work on this as our app gets bigger, but uh, it's got a really nice API where uh, you know the app is the application itself, and then this get here, um, this is like the HTTP verb that we're using. So if a get request comes to the slash route, we serve this. Um, so if you wanted, uh, you can do you know a post. Um, like so if you're doing a form or something like that, you can very easily just replace that with a post. And then similarly, you can do uh, put or delete. Uh, and we'll get into using those later, like we'll build a little web app and we'll have a form when you submit it, uh, we'll have a route that is an app.post instead of an app.get. But for now, since we're just hitting it with the browser, we're going to keep it as app.get. Um, so the first thing I guess that we should do next is we should talk about serving static files. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons you'd want to do this, like maybe instead of sending down plain text, you want to send down an HTML file. Um, we could do that. Uh, similarly, it, uh, with static files, we want to have some CSS or some client-side JavaScript, things like that. Um, you know, just any application you're going to build, you're going to need some stuff like that. So I guess the first thing that we should do is uh, talk about sending a file down. So let's just go ahead and build a new file here, and we'll call it just index.html. Uh, and I think I've got, yeah, I've got this like little snippet here. So uh, my express app. Um, so basically what's going on here is it's just a very, very simple HTML file. And I'll put like, hello world in here now. And so what we're going to want to do is instead of sending down this plain text, which we have with this res.send, we're going to use a different API, which is res.send file. Um, and it's a little bit tricky here only in the sense that if we do res.send file index.html and then we try to run the app like this, uh, and go over to it, it's going to give us this type error path must be absolute or specify root. And so it's just one of these little tricky things is uh, we're going to want to go ahead and do something like uh, uh, underscore underscore dir name plus. Uh, so we can go ahead and restart this app here. Uh, reload. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Um, you can see it here it's looking like exactly in my folder except we can see it's like in videos express and then there's no slash between express and index.html so we'll have to go ahead and do something like this so we'll do a send file uh, this dir name is actually a node api um, and so basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to get the root directory of your project um, which is really nice so it you know it knows where the node modules folder is it knows where the package.json is right so it goes into the uh, module here and then you add your own slash index.html so we've got dir name plus index.html go ahead and save that restart it here and then go ahead and run it and we've got hello world so now instead of just sending some text we're actually sending down this file um, which is pretty nice because I mean this will get you pretty far honestly if you just have uh, a static page with you know whatever content you want in here, um, that'll be pretty good. So I'm gonna stop it here. In the next video, we're gonna add more static assets like some CSS, some JavaScript, some things like that.